Hello everyone, uh, how are you doing today? So I'm, um, you know, Pastor Wang, and I wrote the poem, you know, Worship of God, when I started seminary. That's, you know, that's where, that was, two, you know, 2012 and 13. Uh, this poem we call the God Worship a Poem, right? It's, you know, it's composed of and nine chapters. And these nine chapters is reflects my love of God, right? I love His people, and they, so the nine chapter of the poems and cover the main contents of the Bible, and the main the, you know the core truths. For example, in the God created whole universe, right? God He is love, and God is salvation and saved our sins. And also, because God and He gave us the only beloved Son, Jesus, on the earth. And Jesus died for the people's sins on the cross. Anyone believe in Jesus, and we are not a parish, but we are God will give you eternal life. We have a hope, and the people live on the earth, and finally they will die. The how it can get eternal life, and that's based on your faith. And this faith in no others is on uh, your faith in the Jesus, okay? Only, okay? We are only. Because God sent him on the earth uh, for uh, saving the people, you know, save the people, okay? So I wrote the poem, okay, nine chapters. I, you know, in the beginning, I wrote in Chinese, you know, in Chinese characters. And then I translate it into English and Japanese. And that can serve the people who cannot understand Chinese and Mandarin, but understand definitely English or Japanese. Because and the English is the most popular language in the world, right? For academics, for any many you know, in any area, and then communicating in the world is English. So I hope you like it. So I would like to read for you and the nine chapters. Because the lengthy, okay, the nine chapters basically if you finish reading, you know, it take about 70 minutes. For you know, for your communists, for the longer the longer part, I will read, you know, you know, individually. But for those shorter, I will combine, you know, combine them together to read for you. Okay? I hope you like it. Okay, let's start. So first part. Okay, well, you know, I need to wear, you know, wear gloves to read, to, to, to read the word clearly. Okay, I hope you don't mind. Okay. Okay, the so poem, the so first part, the so chapter one. God, our law, right? So, oh my Lord, you're the word, loggers. Oh my Lord, you're love. Oh my Lord, and you're the origin of the whole universe. Oh my Lord, you are the initiator everything in the whole universe. Oh my Lord, you are the word. Only you have the authority to explain the incense of the world and our human society. Oh my Lord, and you are the light, and you light the dark, dark places of the, whole, of the world and the human society. Oh my Lord. And you are the way of showing the right direction in our life. Oh my Lord, you are the truth and explaining the real reasons in the universe. Oh my Lord, you are wisdom, the starting key of our life. Oh my Lord, your love and your love links God, the, you know, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and three persons together and unite the Trinity. Oh my Lord, your love, and your, you give us human beings the best, and you make us joyful. Oh my Lord, your love, you give us the most value, uh, the, give us most value, uh, like, value, and let us know to value them. Oh my Lord, and uh, you are the love, and you give us what we, uh, we need most, Enriching us, oh my Lord, your love, and you let us feel peaceful and happy. And oh my Lord, your love, and your love is fulfilled with the universe. Oh my Lord, 
and your love, and you warm up our intrinsic heart, and let us feel extremely joyful. Oh, my Lord, and your love, you clean up our soul, and let us become pure and noble. Oh, my Lord, and your love, and you help us get rid of misunderstanding, and drive out complaints, and resolve hatred. Oh, my Lord, your love, and you can please uh, ask her heart, hurt her, and let a rock her, rock her take you as his silver. Oh, my Lord, your love, and you love us, and you let your love fill us. Oh, my Lord, your love, you let us spend every second, a minute, day, month, year in your in this life I have, and the current life in currently in the world until forever. Oh my Lord, nothing can compare with you. Oh my Lord, and no one can let can lay up with you. Oh my Lord, only the Father and the, the Son and the Holy Spirit coexist with you and form Trinity. Oh my Lord, your your life and your living and you are permanent and you will never vanish. Oh my Lord, and your life and ours and also the donor of permanent life. Oh my Lord, your life and without you, life will not have its real, true, a dual meaning. Oh my Lord, and you are you are my silver. Oh my Lord. I not only have seen, uh, have, have, I not only have sins, but also have committed real, uh, real criminals. Without your saving, uh, without your grace, what wait for me will will be the death, my soul, and my naked body destruction. And without your saving grace, I may lay, I may lead a lonely life until my death. And without your saving peace, I will transform a pain to others and spread it to society. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Yeah, you are, you are from the kingdom of heaven, and you bring the light, future, hope, and for our suffering humanity. Oh, my Lord Jesus. And you were born for us. Oh, you tell the sin, sinful humans the way, a direction, and where and should be. Oh, my Lord Jesus, uh, you died for us. And you get rid of our sins, and you, our dirtiness, our uncleanness for those who are waiting for saving. Oh, my Lord, uh, my Lord Jesus, and uh, you live for us, and uh, you send great love, gospel, wisdom, <clears throat> Uh, to our thirsty human hearts. That's part one and the first part of the first part of God worship poem and written by me and Doctor and Pastor Wang. Okay, I would like to continue and for the first, you know to finish all the poems and then I divide them in the different sessions. Okay, the part, part two, you know, the chapter two. And worship the and worship the Lord. Okay, oh my Lord, I would like to worship you. Oh my Lord, you're the original creator, owner, dominator of the whole universe. Oh my Lord, you're the creator, guide, and the giver of everything. Oh my Lord, you're the giver, modifier, protector of life. Oh my Lord, we love to praise you. Oh my Lord, you're the fresh air. Without you, we cannot breathe. Oh my Lord, your sweet drinking water. And without you, we will feel thirsty. Oh my Lord, your nutrition of life. And without you, we will drink out. Oh my Lord, we will worship you wholeheartedly. Oh my Lord, yeah, you are the clear springing. And you are the river flowing living water. Oh my Lord, and you are the most our beloved son, beloved one, and you are the, our most valuable real uh, treasure. Oh my Lord, you are my own Lord, and in the past, today, and forever. That's part two, worshiping God, worshiping the Lord. Okay, I'll finish, I'll continue, 
and we're going to, let's continue go to part three and chapter three and obey the Lord. Okay, are you ready? Let's continue. So, oh my Lord, I obey you, and your sword is so deep and broad, and your wisdom can penetrate the whole universe, and your mind can linset our hearts. Your great power is our mighty and can conquer any obstacles. And your strength winning over anything in the universe. My weakness make me bend down on your feet. And oh my Lord, I would like to obey you and please receive my obedience to you. Okay, that's part that's part three. Obey the Lord. Okay? Okay, I would like to continue and read for you part, part four and then chapter four and follow the Lord. Okay, are you ready? Let's start. Okay, okay. Oh my Lord, I will follow you. And you're perfect. And your vision is so great. And you know everything. And you're so knowledgeable. Okay. Yes, you predict and dispose matters just like God you are. And your heart is white. And that is superior to big oceans. And you're for our charity and love that cannot be beaten. You are so noble and kind, and you are so strong, and your power is endless. And we will win, provided we follow you. Okay, provided okay. We will not worry about anything, provided that we will follow you. We will like to follow you. That's part part of all. And follow the follow the law. Yes, I would like to continue. Okay, to read part five. Okay, so part five is love of the law. Okay, are you ready? Let's let's start. Okay, so my Lord, your love and your love is broad, and your love crosses our over uh, over rivers, Yellow River, Yang River, and Yellow Zamb River, any rivers. Okay, and your love cross over nations, Israel, Roma, Egypt, USA, UK, Japan, France, Germany, Canada, whole Africa, the whole world, right? Yeah. Okay. And your love cross over cultures, East and the West. And your love cross over races, white, black, yellow, or brown, and your love cross over ages, infants, children, adolescent, adult, age, aged, and your love cross gender, and both male and female, and your love cross classes, regardless if you poor or you rich. Oh, my love, and your love surprises us. You teach us to forgive criminals, and you teach us to love your enemies. And you teach us to change enemies into friends. Oh, my Lord, I praise your broad love, a broad love. And your love is so vast, and from one polar to the other, and from South Polar to North Polar, and from Atlantic Ocean to Pacific Ocean, from star to star systems. And from star system to whole universe, and from small universe to big universe, and from universe to humans, from humans to hu to universe, your love is endless, and immense, and beyond imagination. And oh my Lord, I praise your immense love. Your love is so deep, from one atom to another. And from one atom to molecule, from mole small molecule to big molecules, and from big molecule to nuclear acid DNA, from DNA to protein, from DNA protein to cell, and from cell to tissue, from tissue to body, and from body to life, and from unlimited life to eternal life. Oh my Lord, and your love penetrate my skin. Oh my Lord, your love goes into my bone marrow. Oh my Lord, your your love reaches my lung and heart. Oh my Lord, your love merges with my brain. Oh my Lord, and your love into my soul. Oh my Lord, your love brings change to my life. 
Oh my Lord, I praise your beautiful love. And your love is selfish, is, is self, selfishless. And your love does not seek for requests. And your love does not seek for reward. Your love does not carry the gains or losses. And your love only asks for giving. Oh my Lord, I praise your great love. And your love, you love human beings. You were born for human beings. And you love human beings. And you died for human beings. You love human beings. And you resurrect for human beings. That's part of the, 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 the love of God. Okay, I did, you know, that's it. I would like to continue to read part, of, part 6 and chapter 6. Okay, the title of chapter 6 is Pray and SOS. Are you ready? Let's, me, let's continue. Okay. Oh, my Lord, I send an SOS signal to ask for your salvation of life. And know my weakness needs you because you are so powerful. My ignorance needs you because, because you can teach me. And my cap incapacity needs you because since you are powerful. My awareness needs you that is your supervision. My deprivation needs you that is your punishment. And my claims need you and that, and that is a trail from you. And my frustration needs you and that is your support with your arm. My failure need you, and that's your comfort. And when I'm, I'm in desperation, and you're coming with me, when I'm totally uncompanied, and you're my only relative, and my friends may leave me, leave me because, my power, because of my poverty, my relatives may leave me because I may be a burden for them. Okay, society may abandon me because my crimi criminal, my crime. Only my Lord, our Lord Jesus, and you always accompany me, care for me, and guide me. Oh my Lord, my successes need you, my achievements need you, and my honors need you, and because only you can help me to be modest and cautious and mindful and not rush. To be a humble person, and to be a person who comes to realize the truth. That's part of seven, okay? And pray and SOS. Finished. Now, I would like to continue to read part, uh, uh, that's part six, okay? Let me continue to read chapter seven and part seven. And uh, the title of the part seven is Healing of the Lord. The healing of the law. Are you ready? Let's start. Part 7. Oh my Lord, you are the greatest doctor. And there is no disease you cannot prevent. Oh my Lord, and you are the greatest doctor. There is no disease you do not know the cause. Oh my Lord, and you are the greatest doctor. And there is no disease that you do not know how to make a diagnosis. Oh my Lord, you are the great, greatest doctor. There is no disease you cannot treat, treat and have a cure for it. You treat an illness before it begins. And you recover a person from trauma. You get rid of the cause of the disease. You save a person's soul. Okay? And you receive the death. You, you revive you revive the death. And you said bye bye to death, right? Okay, there is no death again for you. And you are the doctor, all the doctors. And you are the real miracle doctor. So you are the Lord of eternal life. That's the end of chapter, okay, chapter 7. Okay, you know, the healing of the, of the, you know, of the Lord, right? Okay? I would like to continue to read chapter 8, of part 8, okay? Praise the death and the resurrection of the Lord. Are you ready? Let's start. Oh my Lord, I must praise your death for us. And that's the fulfillment, you know, fulfillment of the mission 
ordered by the kingdom of the heaven. And that's the greatness of saving human beings. That's to call our Father in the heaven God. That's your yearning and your purpose. Oh my Lord, I will still praise your resurrection. That's the great power of the Father, our Lord, our God. And that's the start of your permanent eternal life. That's just what we are looking forward to be saved. That's the end of chapter 8 and chapter 8 and part 8. And uh, praise the death and the resurrection of the Lord. So now I want to continue to read. Okay, it's the last part of the poem. Okay, God worship poem, chapter in you know, a part, part nine, chapter nine. Okay, the title is Praising Trinity, pray, Praising the Trinity, Our Lord. Oh, my Lord, I will still praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Praise the Father, you give us the Son, the true God, the true God, the real God, our Lord. And the praise the Son, and you're the expiration and salvation for us. And praise the Holy Spirit, and you inspire millions of people. And praise the Son, and the true God, and you're the origin of all happiness. All people come to praise. Praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's the end of chapter chapter nine. Also the end of the all the nine chapters. Thank you very much for you know for listening and watching. I hope you like it. And please trans you know transfer it to your friends. Okay, like you know share with your any your friends your your relatives anyone right your groups and you know let them, let them you know know who is God and what's talking the Bible talking about right. And also getting healing effects. Okay? Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye.